Greetings fam. I hope all is well. Hope everything's good for you. Today I'm going to share a little quick tip on how to use something that you have and most of all of us have. Some of us are more challenged than others, especially me. You know, I don't have that much, but what I have, I got to use it. So let's keep on going. Yep, you did it again. You clicked on another video and I thank you so much. Hey, I know you want to get to growing, so let's get to growing. Grow. Grow. Eco neighbor. Grow. 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 Eco neighbor. Grow. 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 Eco neighbor. Grow. 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 Eco neighbor. You know, a lot of us during these challenging times, we've been cutting our own hair. Uh, our family members been cutting their but own hair. But did you know that you can utilize human hair? or even hair. So even if you cut your your dog or cat, any type of hair, even if you vacuum it up, did you know you can use that hair as a slow release, time release fertilizer? Yeah. If you didn't know, you might want to consider before you just throw it away. Now I know, I know, I know. My big mama used to put sage around her hair and then she didn't tell nobody she put it in the ground in her yard because she didn't want nobody to put no roots on it. But hey, with that said, if you're open to trying maybe some potted plants and applying just a little hair into the soil, maybe you should consider it. Because whether you know it or not, it is a time release fertilizer and it slowly breaks down and it also adds nutrients to your plant. It has a lot of soil. different other benefits. It also aerates the soil. Now, I have also heard of people using hair to get rid of deer. Uh, for me, I never really had a major problem with deer, but you may want to try it. I've also heard that it also helps with slugs. If you put it on the ground around the plant, a lot of times a lot of slugs don't like it. So one thing I would say is one thing I have done, I have incorporated in some of my soil, especially if, if you're taking organic soil from out the ground and I grew up in Georgia, I had Georgia clay. If I had a heavy clay type uh, build up a heavy clay type of compacted soil try putting a little hair in there to mix it in your soil and that little hair you know what it does it will aerate your soil as well provide nutrients and aerate your soil to allow your roots to be super strong okay so why not consider this little tip it's just a little quick little tip I want to share with you and just remember whatever you do whatever you do don't forget to keep on growing, growing.